The violent stock market sell-off last week, fueled by fears that the Federal Reserve missed its chance to aid the U.S. economy, may have initiated a new rotation trade. After the Fed held rates steady on Wednesday, equities plummeted. Despite Chair Jerome Powell hinting at potential rate cuts in September, the Nasdaq 100 index fell into a correction and the S&P 500 index lost 3.2% in two days, marking its worst stretch since March 2023. Technology and consumer discretionary stocks suffered, while utilities and real estate companies, known for hefty dividends, outperformed. With rates expected to fall due to a cooling jobs market, the rotation trade continues, said Eric Deton of Wealth Alliance. Big tech doesn't need cuts due to strong balance sheets, so dividend payers are the play. Investors poured nearly $1 billion into real estate and utility sector ETFs last week, compared to $300 million into tech ETFs. With anticipated rate cuts and falling treasury yields, investors preferred dividend-paying, lower-volatility stocks. Both the 10-year and 2-year treasury yields dipped below 4% last week. August and September, historically challenging months for the market, loom ahead. Volatility is rising, with the VIX reaching 29.66 on Friday. The market remains unpredictable, with investors divided on the outlook. Some see potential support from rate cuts, while others worry about economic weaknesses. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates and insights on navigating the ever-changing market landscape.